Welcome to Lyricist Programming, Program Lyricist. Alright, so this episode, I actually gotta do a disclaimer, cause motherfuckers be getting shit twisted. Alright, first off, this is not a hating blog. Alright, I don't have time to hate on a motherfucker, I don't have time for that shit. Everybody that's doing whatever they want to do to get money and make themselves happy, I'm all for it. Get money. This is simply a discussion, and it's just simply me just stating my opinion. So anybody, even all you YouTube hating motherfuckers, or you Facebook, whatever, or whatever you guys do when you guys sit around your motherfucking t computer just typing up all a bunch of gangster racist, I'm gonna kill you, you don't know shit type of shit, don't do that here. Don't do that here. As a matter of fact, this is gonna be the only fucking blog that I get where your comment's gonna have to be approved on YouTube, because motherfuckers are just w wilding out nowadays, and I'm not trying to deal with all that shit, alright? So now that I got that out the way, let's go to it. So... For all y'all who don't know, either you don't have internet, you don't listen to hip-hop, or you've been living under a rock, you should know of this guy named Wheelchair Jimmy, a.k.a. Drake. Now, the reason why I call him Wheelchair Jimmy is because he was on a show called Degrassi, and I came in front. I used to watch the show religiously. Religiously. That show is tight. I can't front on it. That show is hella tight. That season was tight. The season that had Wheelchair Jimmy on it was tight. I came, I came from Spencer, uh, Mandy, all, all, the, all them female, it, it was tight, alright? So basically, he's been claimed as the new hot dude for the freshman class. And the freshman class, for all you non-hip-hop people, you know, the, you know, UrbanDictionary.com, the freshman class are a new branch of new artists that come out for the, for the incoming year that people are excited about. So this would include um, Asher Ross, Charles Hamilton, Wheelchair Jimmy, a.k.a. Drake, Wale, J. Cole, Corey Guns, who else is, who else is freshman? There's some other freshmen too. Oh, Kanan. Um, and uh, you guys can look these up and Google them later, alright? Now, the reason why this is, is, the reason why I'm coming at you guys is because, like, don't get me wrong. Please do not get me wrong whatsoever. Drake, Wheelchair Jimmy, can rap. He can rap. He can rap with the best of them. Alright? And I'm not going to take anything away from his rapping abilities. I'm not going to take anything away from his hustle abilities. Because for him to get this type of buzz and performing and tour on concerts and not even have a fucking album dropping is, like, commendable. Like, you got to. All I'm saying is I don't get it. And I'm not saying that in a hating way. I'm saying that in the most honest way possible. I just don't understand. Because... What, what what throws me off is just what people say about him. Like, okay, if the female's feeling him, okay, I, I get I get that. Light skinned nigga from Canada, and you know what he got the pretty boy image, and females feeling him, and he makes songs for females. That's cool. Like I understand that. That makes perfect sense, right? I don't understand the dudes. If that if that's what you guys are going for, it's like. I mean, you know, teach its own. If you're gay, you know, that's cool, too. If you want to get with Wheelchair Jimmy, that's perfectly fine. I don't care. And, you know, but it's not. But some of the times, it's the dudes that are that way, and they're saying the same stuff. So I'm kind of like, y'all some awesome closet stuff. So that's just weird right there. And then, like, people were like, oh, well, he's the second coming of Jay-Z. Not really. Not, not really at all. If anything, he's like the second coming of Lil Wayne. Because, like, people say, you know, you know, it all trickles down because Wayne stole from Jay, Jay stole from Rakim and Nas, it, it all trickles down. And so, at the end of the day, it's Jay-Z. But in, if you really look at his flow, his flow pattern, his, his delivery and everything like that, it's not really Jay-Z. If you want Jay-Z, like, to the core and you'd be like, oh, damn, this is like Jay-Z 96, this is Venture Jay-Z, you would have to listen to J. Cole or you have to listen to Lupe Fiasco, because if you listen to those two and how their rhyme pattern and their flow and the delivery and what they're saying, it's the same shit, it's Jay-Z 96. Drake is more like Wayne, I'm gonna say Wayne, oh, like the first Carter. The first Carter, because the first Carter was tight, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Carter 3 was wack as shit, the first Carter, the second Carter were tight. So like, Wilcher Jimmy's like, he reminds me of that. So like, when they say the second coming of Jay, I don't get that shit either. And then number three, what I don't understand is, like, I don't understand how it became, like, wheelchair Jimmy frenzy. Because, like, hold on, somebody's calling me. Probably that hating ass nigga need. 
No, it's not the hate nice nigga Neek. I'll call this dude back. Alright, so what I don't get is like how people are saying, I mean, please explain it to me. If you guys can explain it to me, I will gra oh, I'll be more than happy to post those comments and I'll even respond to it because I just I just don't get it. And even if I don't get it, like I'm sure he doesn't care that I don't get it. It doesn't make it doesn't make it as soon as I get it, it doesn't make it legitimate or anything like that. I'm not trying to legitimize anything. I just need help understanding. Because when they say, you know, oh he's the greatest rapper of our time right now, and he's like the new hot thing. It's like if you put him in a circle of the freshman class, I'm not even going to say that whole, you know, he's not Nas, he's not Immortal Technique and all that corny shit. Nah, fuck all that. No. If you just put him with his own freshman, why are people calling me? Oh my gosh. Why are people calling Okay, so even if, right, even if you put him in a cypher, let's just think of this right now. You put him in a cypher full of the freshman class. So let's say you put him in a cypher with Asher Roth, with J. Cole, with Wale, with Charles Hamilton, with Kanan, and Wilter Jimmy, right? So just, we'll just pick those six, right? All right. Charles Hamilton, Wale, knock him out the box. Wilter Jimmy would smash on them. End of story. That's just my personal opinion. If you don't like it, eat a dick. But that's my personal opinion. He would smash on those guys right out the box. Kanan, have you heard this? Have you heard? Yo, right now, go to YouTube, type in Kanan, listen to this, this dude, Kim. This, big, this nigga from Ethiopia slash Canada, this dude is ruthless. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Put him against J. Cole, nobody in the freshman class is fucking with J. Cole. I'll put my, I'll, I'll, I'll put J. Cole up against anybody in the freshman class. Real talk, if you don't know who J. Cole is, YouTube that nigga as well. And then we got Asher Roth. Now, people slept on Asher. I even slept on, I'll be the first one to admit, when I first got that shit and, you know, niggas sent it to me, they were like, listen to this new Asher, I was not pumped about it because the fucking I Love College song, that song sucks so much. I can't describe how much that song sucks and how annoying that song is. It was a great single, and it was a smart move, it was a smart business move because college kids all over the world just loved it and fell in love with Asher Ross because of that, so, like, business-wise, it was amazing. Song-wise, that song sucks, but that album... Real talk, that album was freaking tight. That dude can spit. Like, don't sleep on Asher. That dude can spit. And I don't give a fuck if that nigga was backed up by Jay-Z, if that dude was backed up by Akon, and, you know, all that shit. Just bar for bar, Asher Roth, bar for bar. I'm not saying song-wise, I'm not saying pop sensation or nothing like that. I'm just saying bar for bar in a cypher, wheelchair jimmy would not be able to hang with asher you can i'm telling you just go for freestyle for freestyle just listen to asher's freestyle and then listen to a, a drake freestyle slash song with Lil wayne or whatever right you can tell bar for bar he cannot fuck with those top four so knowing that he cannot fuck with asher j cole or kanan i don't understand why he was picked to be the new hot thing I'm not sure if it's because of association with Wayne. I'm not sure if it's because he's got every female on the planet ready to ride. I'm not sure what it is. But if somebody could help me, that would be great. Just go ahead, type your comments, tell me what you say, tell me how you feel. If you disagree with some of the things I said, that's cool. Just do it in a respectful manner and get back at me. I really appreciate it. But if you don't know, but real talk, before you respond, if you don't know of the other people that I mentioned, if you don't know who Asher Roth is, if you don't know who J. Cole is, if you don't know who Kanan is, I suggest you look them up before you respond. Real talk and just give them a chance because those dudes are spitting and they're in the same freshman class. They're supposed to be dropping albums and they got the same type of buzz. Now, all of them got the same buzz, not a wheelchair Jimmy buzz. Wheelchair Jimmy buzz is a mate. It's crazy. But they got a buzz, their album's coming out and all that there. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope to get some responses from y'all because please help me help y'all. All right, peace.